it's time for another retro unboxing and it's another large parcel from bitmap books this one has been sitting on the shelf for a while now and uh, during that time bitmap books have uh, suspended european shipping because of brexit and it seems quite appropriate that i can now open it when they have reinstated it and the first thing you'll notice is the brilliant bespoke packaging and the fact this is limited edition number one of 500 the Game Boy box art collection so thanks to Sam at Bitmap Books uh, his books are a bit like Pokemon I've got to catch them all and I worked with Sam on a couple of his books in the past the Commodore 64 compendium and the Super Nintendo Compendium. I'm hoping to work with him in the future on more. So, as you can see, limited edition. There was this, the gold edition, there was the silver edition, and the standard edition. And of course, as with other Bitmap book, book, Books products, we have posters, or most of all that. And it's a fantastic piece of cover art by the one and only Will Overton, most famous for Superplay, so I'm playing on the Game Boy surrounded by classic Game Boy games. So let's roll that up and keep that in its tube. And have a look at this brilliant box. It's almost a shame to open it, but we need to have a look at the book inside. So you can see secured with tape, top and bottom. I'm now wondering if I've got room to store this box because I can keep it. I don't know, it's probably not the best way to open it, but get in. And as ever with bitmap books, it's brilliantly packaged and protective packaging to make sure there's no damage in shipping. So I'll put the box to one side, take off the corner protectors, extra goodies inside the protective wrapping. So we have a beautiful golden slip case and it's wrapped inside the slip case. A postcard of the cover art. Well Overton signature. A very cute Game Boy sticker. And the box itself. I love how it looks. It looks so authentic. Limited edition. This is limited to 500 units. DMG BB1. It's got Matrix Graphics Bitmap Books 1. So whether you're an old school Game Boy fan or discovering the wonders of Nintendo's million selling portable system for the very first time, we'd like you to welcome you to Game Boy the Box Art Collection celebration of some of the finest cover artwork from the monochrome marble that kick-started the handheld games industry. Featuring over 350 iconic Game Boy games covering Japanese, North American and European releases. Despite the fact that we live in a world where the average smartphone makes the Game Boy look like an abacus, in purely technical terms Nintendo's trailblazing handheld still manages to capture the attention of gamers all over the world and it's easy to see why it's home to some of the most famous names in the video game business including Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Metroid, Mega Man, Castlevania, Gradius and Final Fantasy and many of its best titles hold up surprisingly well by modern standards. With technology this basic, <coughs> developers of the period needed to make sure the gameplay was compelling and addictive. We've worked closely with some of the world's most renowned Game Boy collectors 
pull together a varied selection of titles that span both Western and Eastern tastes. We hope you enjoy seeing some familiar cover imagery rubbing shoulders with game artwork you might know from the dim and distant past, but have never seen presented this way before. So the actual box then is shrink wrapped as well. And I'm going to open it. I love reading these books. Always so well researched and written. And it's a beautiful glossy golden finish. And we lift the lid for the first time. As you can see, this is a real unboxing. I've never been inside the package before. So we've got the lid, we've got the box, and even that is beautifully made, resembles a Game Boy cartridge case, Game Boy the box art collection, a spine, the back with the same text on the back of the box. So let's have a look inside. I'm really looking forward to this. So Hunter's Face here, published by Bitmap Books, designed by Sam Dyer, edited by Steve Jarrett. Special thanks, additional thanks. And photography contents forward by Game Boy Cameraman, the history of the Game Boy Collector's Interview, Game Boy Box Art A to Z, and Index. So, Game Boy Cameraman, who uses a Game Boy camera to make some amazing pictures. The history of the Game Boy. And a beautiful spread of classic screenshots. The Light Boy add on there. Super Game Boy. Game Boy Camera. Collector's interview, talking to several of the collectors who've helped. And then we get into the actual titles. So we start off with a couple of Japanese titles there Aero Star, Aguri Suzuki F1 Super Driving. Akumujo Dracula, one of the Castlevania titles that came to Game Boy. The Akumujo Special, Book of Dracula Kun, so Kid Dracula in the West. Alien vs Predator. Alleyway, Animal Breeder, Animal Breeder 2. And then Maniacs, you can see you get not just the box art, but also screenshots in the game, a little bit about the game, what it's like, talking about the cover art. Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly from Acclaim. And you see that one series, it's for the original Game Boy. Baseball Kids, Batman from Sunsoft. Well liked game. Batman putting in several appearances here. Battle of Kingdom. Balloon Kid, based on the classic Balloon Fight. Battle Toads, Bionic Commando, which has extra content. Sailor Moon. Blades of Steel, the uh, hockey game. Nice hockey. Bomberman. Also, of course, there's Wario Blast in the Bomberman style. Boulder Dash, Bubble Bobble, Bubble Ghost. Um, quiz Captain Subasa, which is an interesting hybrid of story game and soccer football. Castilian, known as Nebulous or Tower Topper on Toplet on other formats. Choplifter Free, Chuck Rock, Contra Spirits, Cutthroat Island, tie into the film. David Crane's The Rescue of Princess Blobette, follow up to A Boy and His Blob, with some interesting new features. Dead Heat Fighters series, didn't realise there's so many of those. Desert Strike Return to the Golf, works quite well on Game Boy. I know Breeder, Disney's Aladdin, Disney's DuckTales, DuckTales 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Land, Donkey Kong Land 3. And here you can see this is a Super Game Boy 
pack so that will add features on Blade through the Super Game Boy add-on for the Super Nintendo. Doramon Kart, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 3, Downtown Nagetsu, Known in the West of the River City series, Dr. Franken, Dr. Mario, Dracula Densetsu, Dragon Quest, Dragon Slayer, Dragon Slayer the Legend, which is in fact based on a 1985 ZX Spectrum game from Elite called Roller Coaster, uh, from Jim, F1 Spirit, Boy F1 Race, Final Fantasy Legend games, and a good fun on Game Boy. Game Boy Gallery, the first of the Game & Watch collections. Gambara Gormon. Gargoyle's Quest, spin-off featuring Red Arama, Gauntlet 2, UB Genjin Land, Genjin Collection, Ghostbusters 2, Golf, Hattress, so as ever with Bitmap book Books these books look Beautiful Hyper Hoshi no Kirby, Hyper Load Runner, Initial D Gaiden, Gaiden and Side Story, J League. There are a lot of licensed uh, J League games on Nintendo formats. James Bond 007, not to be confused with the Parker Brothers game. Jelly Boy, what is that fist? Jimmy Connors Pro Tennis Tour. So you can see a mix of Japanese and European and American games. Killer Instinct, and a Super Game Boy compatible title there. Kirby No Pinball. Clax. Good fun across formats. Konami GB Collection Volume 1, Konami Golf. Krusty's Funhouse. Originally an audio genic game called Rat Trap. And then turned into a Simpsons license. Lemmings, one of the many formats Lemmings arrived on. Lock and Chase, which is a very old uh, arcade game. Nakamura Gaiden, we know it in the West as Golden Ghost Nakamura. Marble Madness. Mario no Pie Cross. I do like the Pie Cross games. Mario and Yoshi puzzle game. Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Mickey Mouse. These are the Capcom Akemco titles. Micro Machines. Monster Max, the 3D isometric game from Rare, created by John Rickman and Bernie Drummond. Old Combat, Namco Classic, another golf game, Namco Gallery, NBA Jam, Tournament Edition. One of the Aketsu River City games, Nemesis, Nemesis 2, Nigel Mantle's World Championship Racing from Gremlin Graphics. They held the Nigel Mantle license at the time when he moved from Formula 1 and then into IndyCar Racing. Old World Adventures, Pac-Man, Pachi Slot, Pachinko Data Card. You don't know much about Pachinko, Japanese, very similar to... Pinball, Paper Boy, Parodius Da, Penguin Kun Wars Versus, Pie Cross 2, Pinball Dreams, based on the classic Amiga game, Pinball, known, this is known as uh, Revenge of the Gator in the West, one of the best pinball games, Pipe Dream, Pipe Mania, 
Pit Fighter, Pocket Bomberman, Pocket Monsters Pikachu, Pokemon Blue, Popeye, and that's a different Popeye to the classic Nintendo arcade game, Populous, Primal Rage, Prince of Persia, Pro Wrestling, Pro Protector 2, Contra, Grise, or whichever you want to call it, Poyo Poyo, Posnik, interesting one because that got the home computer version con conversion as well, Cubit, many Cubit games, Cubillion, interesting puzzle game, Kicks, Quaff, and there's Block Hole outside Japan. You shoot blocks up to make shapes, that's a quite an interesting game. R Type and R Type 2, very good on Game Boy. Rampart, the Atari arcade game where you're building castles. Around my half. Robocop, of course, famous for the Jonathan Dunn music later used in an Ariston commercial. Rockman World, Rockman being the Japanese name for Mega Man. Saga Free. SD Loop in the Third, based on the manga. Seaside Volley, similar to Beach Volley. Sensible Soccer, European Champions. Skate or Die, Bad and Rad, Konami's spin off from the C64 game. Sneaky Snakes, Game Boy Soccer, Solomon's Club, follow up to follow up to Solomon's Key, Spartan X, Kung Fu Master, in other words, Spot, the board game, not the later Cool Spot platform game, Star Wars, very different on that to the later Super Star Wars, Street Fighter 2, Street Racer. Super Black Bass Pocket. Be a lot of games beginning with Super because of the Super Nintendo and Super Mario, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, Super Golden Coins, Super RC Pro Am from Rare, Super Robot Tizen, Super Star Wars, Shadow the Jedi, T2 the arcade game from Acclaim, Tato Chase HQ, Tato Variety Pack, some more. Old arcade games. Takashi Major Noboki and Juma 2. So the Adventure Island spin off. Tamagotchi, Techno Goal GB, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tennis, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Tetris, of course, one of the most popular games on Game Boy. Tetris Flash, Tetris Plus. Amazing Spider-Man, Humans, Incredible Crash Dummies, The Lawnmower Man, Legend of Prince Valiant, The Rock Police Pat Labour, The Real Ghostbusters, spin-off from the cartoon, Simpsons, Bart and the Beanstalk, Simpsons, Bart vs. the Geminaut, Tower of Druaga, very early Namco arcade game, very influential on other games including The Legend of Zelda, Tiny Toon Adventures, Titus the Fox from Titus Software. Toy Story True Lies. Tumble Pop, interesting arcade game. Plays a bit like Snow Brothers Ice Guys, that sort of thing. Turok. Twin Twin B Da. Universal Soldier, which is a reskinned version of Turrican. Wave Race, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Mario then, of course, had his own series of games, Wizardry Gaiden 1. Spin off from the Wizardry games that were very influential on Japanese RPGs, Wizards and Warriors X, Wordtress, not successful as Tetris. Worms, the Game Boy, WWF games. Yoshino Banapon. Wii 
Zelda Node and Setsu, we know in the West as Link's Awakening. And of course, there's the DX version, which plays, gives extra features on the Game Boy Color. Zoot puzzle game that was on several formats. And then the Index. So there we have Game Boy the Box Art Collection. It looks absolutely fantastic. This collector's edition in the gold box is incredible. I'm not sure if there'll be any more available, but the uh, standard book itself is. So go to bitmapbooks.co.uk or check Amazon in the US. And I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video and stay tuned to my channel for more.